Hey y'all, Russ here, RVR TV. How you doing this morning? Well, had a nice couple days around San Luis Obispo here. Gonna head down towards Santa Barbara. We're gonna take 101 the whole way. It's uh, really overcast. I watched the weather this morning. They're calling for uh, heavy fog and clouds, so really won't see much of the ocean. Hey, blue sky, but we're farther inland. We're about 15 miles or better from the ocean. We're kind of cutting across here on 101 South. But nice country. There's a lot of vineyards, a lot of wine out here. Vandenberg Air Force Base is a big uh, employer. They're not too far away. Lompoc is out this way. A little town called Solvang. I guess that's a little touristy town. But even with the fog, the weather here in the summer is perfect. I mean, over in the valley, it's 110 in the shade. I mean, and averages here is like 70 to 80. Huh. And plus you got the ocean. I, I'm really, I could really live here. Alright, getting into a few more hills here. We're about halfway there right now. You can see the trees are getting greener. Nice road, too. Traffic isn't real awful. It's probably about 10, 10.30, somewhere in that range. Not too bad. Trailer's pulling good. Got a little bit of a crosswind, not too awful. And it uh, looks like a few more mountains coming up here. Ooh, what we got here? Hold on. Oh, boy. Oh man, that guy's sideways up there. Oh no. Oh crap. People are running around. Yeah. I'll be back. I can go check this out. truck is sideways, took out the concrete uh, bridge, has a huge compressor on the back. Come on, I'll take you up and show it to you. Look at this thing. I mean, holy moly. Go buy you a lotto ticket. There's a driver right there on the left, young guy. He's pretty uh, freaked out right now. Can't blame him. He crawled out the passenger window to get out of there. I mean, there's a dry creek bed under there. That drop is probably about 50, 60 feet straight off. That compressor is holding them on. That big heavy, I guess that compressor weighs, triple axle, weighs about 14,000 pounds. That's what's holding them up there. All right, I need to check on the scubers. See how she's doing. Scooby-Doo. Yeah, she's okay for now. And the traffic is backing up. Okay, the cavalry made it. Two fire engines, ambulance. Cops are coming in left and right all over the place. Caltrans. It's turning into uh, quite a little show here. Covered up the windows, keep Scooby cooler. I got a little fan going in there for her. She's okay. It's only about 70, not even 75 degrees. Hi, Scoobs. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, you're okay. We'll be out of here in a while. Say hi to everybody. All right. Tow trucks are here. They're hooking a chain on that thing. Channel 3 News out of Santa Barbara's here interviewing the driver. Poor kid. I feel bad for him. They're taking their pictures. I got better pictures than them. <laughs> the hooks are dangling. 
They're going to pick that thing up and uh, lift it back on the road, they said. All right, they got it. They're moving it. Man, what a mess. Okay, it's back on the road. Done deal. It's been about three hours now. Okay, cop told me to get ready. They're clearing the road. They're going to get this traffic moving, he said now. So I got to get back to the car. You know, for the kind of wreck, these guys did pretty good, darn good. They moved pretty quick. Okay. There they go. We're moving. I thought it was three hours. About two and a half hours total. I was about five seconds behind that wreck. <laughs> Man. What apparently happened is... Uh, it had triple axle compressor, three tires on the right side blew out, made him swerve. He kept it on the road, but then the compressor pushed him and jackknifed him straight into that bridge of all places. That kid is really lucky. I felt very bad for him. He's a decent young man. Yeah, he'll remember this forever. All right, we're moving. <laughs> Hey, up here on the right, there it is. There's the truck and the compressor all wrecked. Wow. That was something. You just never know. Okay, we're about 15 miles from the ocean. Just got this canyon to go through up here. I think it's a... I drove this a long time ago, so I think it's kind of pretty dry can feel the temperature dropping and uh, look up top over the mountain there you can see the fog so we're definitely getting closer to the water again they said 45 miles an hour through here and they mean it uh, it's pretty steep and very curvy all right well this is Russ I'm gonna sign off now the journey continues you just never know what you're gonna see on the road I hope everyone has a great day, and don't forget to definitely travel safe. Talk to you soon.